in this video i explain the two types of flow control valve flow control valve in short written as the fcv first type is the fixed restrication and the second one is the variable restrication fcv this is the symbol of fixed restrication fcv and this is the symbol of variable restrication fcv so here you see this is one orifice okay and this line is indicating the flow of the fluids okay and it is a fixed that means here arrow is not drawn okay so when the arrow is drawn it is called as the variable restriction means we are able to change this area okay that is called as the variable restriction so first we understand the fixed restriction fcv so from the name we can understand that we are not able to change the flow rate of the fluid it is called as the fixed restriction and variable means we are able to adjust the flow rates okay so how the flow rate is changed okay suppose we have some pipe or a we have the water tap at the our homes okay so we are changing the flow rate of the waters by the rotating the needle of the tap okay so when we rotate the needle fully then the flow rate of the water is high when we slightly open the water tap the water flow rate is smaller so this is a sim simple examples of the variable restrictions fcv so fixed restriction fcv it is not a valve it is simply a restriction with a small opening means orifice so in a pipe one restrictions are put it and these restrictions small hole are provided and this small hole are called as the orifice that we already study in a fluid mechanics subject when fitted in the system means when fitted in the system means when the orifice is fitted in the system the working fluid has to flow through this small hole so this reduce the flow rate of the fluids means by using this orifice or by using the phase restriction fcv we are reduce the flow rate of the fluids but it does not have any means to vary the flow rate or to vary the area of the flow because we know that the in a orifice there is small diameter is there okay so we are not uh, able to change this diameter and if we are not able to change the diameter then area is not changed okay so we know that the, the flow rate q is equal to area into velocity okay so in a any type of the flow control we consider the velocity is constant okay so by changing the area we are only change the flow rate means if we increase the area flow rate is increased and if we reduce the area flow rate is decreased okay so by using this fixed restriction fcv we are only able to reduce the flow rates now so first we talked that the in a fixed restriction we are not able to change the flow rate but here the word is mentioned to reduce the flow rate of the fluids how it is possible because in a suppose the pipe diameter is the 1 inch okay and it is one inch diameter one small hole is provided okay so we are able to reduce this flow rates now here you see this is the symbols of the fixed restriction fcv okay so here it is the orifice and we are not able to change this area or a diameter okay so this is the symbol of fixed restriction fcv second one is the variable restriction fcv so from that name we can easily understand that we are able to able to change the flow rates okay that is called as the variable restrictions so this valve has a hand lever sorry hand wheel or a knob okay so one hand wheel is provided okay so at the our home the water tap is there it is the simple examples of the variable restriction fcv so by using this hand wheel we rotate the knob okay and when we rotate the more knob the water is coming with the higher flow rates okay the knob is open slightly then water is coming with the slow speed or a slow flow rates so by turning which we can change the area of flow means when we rotate the knob by using our hands okay so we are just changing the area okay so when we fully open the water tap the area is fully open and the flow rate of the water is higher and thus we can change the rate of flow of working fluids means by changing the area we are able to change the flow rate so we know that the flow rate q is equal to area into velocity so we increasing the area flow rate is increased we reduce the area the flow rate is reduced so ordinary water tap is a better example for understanding the functioning so there are many types and the many designs example are needle valve gate valve butterfly valve diaphragm valves poppet valve so these are the various examples of the variable restrictions flow control valves for that different types of the valve i make the separate video so you can easily understand it okay so here you see the simple image of the variable restriction fcv here inlet is there okay this is the outlet portions this is the needles and here screw is there and this is the hand wheel so when we rotate this hand wheel 
okay this needle is moving in upper direction or a downward direction depending on the in which directions we are rotated so here you see this needle is completely here so these areas are closed okay so when we rotate it and they are moving upper direction so here the flow rate area is open and the fluid is flow from inlet to outlet okay so we have a depending how amount of the opening is there okay it is depend on the number of rotations of this wheel that's why we are able to change the flow rate so it is called as the variable restrictions fcv so figure so a needle wall it has a needle which move up and down by turning the screw so that thing i already explained this screw so when we rotate it this needle is moving up and down this alter the passage for the working fluid to flow which in turn alter the rate of flow so by moving this needle up and down we are change this area of flow here okay and when we change the area of flow we are able to change the rate of flow so rate of flow q is equal to area into velocity here you see this is the symbol of variable restriction fcv okay so first we need to draw the symbol of fixed restriction fcv and then after one draw the one arrow line okay then it is converted into the variable restriction fcv so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to the ohp and other subject of the mechanical engineering for the ohp various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a card card mean on a top right screen of your mobile so laptop you see the i symbol for other subject i request to visit the playlist